register of CBLU Mivani and this galaxy of intellectuals. I wish you a very, very happy Women's Day. Being a woman, I'm feeling very blessed and honored standing here among you on this occasion. Last year also you invited me and uh, this year also you have invited me. Thank you so much. So, this uh, whole week has been celebrated as Women Empowerment Week to motivate women in their specific fields to honor them and to make themselves and to make them feel proud of themselves. And really, what can be the better occasion to celebrate the achievements and contribution of women in different fields? I think it's very difficult to find any field in which women have not set their foothold. You can take any field, be it media, medicine, engineering, technology, sports, defense, finance, any other field. In all the fields, women are scaling new heights by crossing the man-made barriers. So, I think we have come so far in women empowerment. But, if I say that we are still living in a male-dominated society, it would, it would want to be an exaggeration. Because even in this 21st century, women are still being tortured mentally, emotionally, physically also. Because not a single day passes when we don't have the news of rape cases, irritating, acid attacks, domestic violence, gender discrimination and so on. So, we have a long, long way to go. Various ways have been taken by government by enacting laws and implementing various policies. But I think only the laws can't protect us. Until and unless the mindset of the society is not changed, women can never feel secure and safe. Now what happens? If a girl is brutally, brutally abused in front of all of us, we just complain saying that uh, our laws are not strict. Because we think everything is okay until and unless that girl doesn't belong to our own family. So, it should not be done. Every mother should teach her son to respect women. Let us not forget that this world will never change for our daughters if we don't make a change in our sons. Mothers should teach their sons the value of peaceful coexistence, the value of tolerance, the value of patience, the value of politeness. And respect for women should be taught in an early age. It should be taught in such a way that respect for women should come from within. If it is enforced, it is not the actual respect. And girls, I tell you that education is the most powerful weapon to which you can use to change the society. You can use this weapon to change the nation, to change the world. Empower yourself with skills. Empower yourself with knowledge. Empower yourself with awareness. Empower yourself in such a way so that you may be financially independent. If you are financially independent, you will feel more secure, more safe, and more respected in society, irrespective of your social economic background. You're not just uh, 
somebody's daughter or somebody's wife. It doesn't matter who your father is, who your brother is, or who your husband is going to be, or who the man in your life is. Don't be dependent, don't depend upon him. Be financially independent. And uh, now you are living in an, in an age of a digital globalization. You can't say that uh, you are living in a small city or in rural area and you don't have access to good quality of education. You have access to internet. These virtual classrooms and online tutoring is proving a bane for you, is proving a boon for you, a blessing for you. You can become whatever you want. So you should have dreams. If you have dreams, only then you can visualize your dreams. Now, what happens? A lot of us suffer in silence, unheard, unnoticed, unanswered. It should not be done. Raise your voice, voice your opinion, because your voice is the power to change the society. Your voice is the power to change the generation. Your voice is power to change the nation. So, stand up for yourself. Stand up for your self-esteem, stand up for your self-respect. And always remember, that each time you stand up for yourself, you stand up for all the women. Actually, now I should say that every woman's success should be an inspiration to another woman. So let us commit to support and cheer each other. Because together we can achieve anything. So, it's my advice to you girls that always stand up yourself, believe in yourself, don't be the victim of your life, be the winner of your life, be the in charge of your life. You have your whole life ahead. You may face problems in your life, you may face difficulties in your life. But always keep in mind that difficulties don't come to destroy you. Rather they come to let you realize your full potential. So try to be the winner of your life, the in charge of your life. And when you do so, the empowerment can be gained in its actual sense. Thank you so much. बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद मैम हमें आशा है कि आपकी कही हुई बातों को हमारी सभी छात्राएं ग्रहण करेंगी और अपने जीवन में अपनाकर आगे बढ़ेंगी